every year we are having the population increase more and more and it causes many problems in agriculture. Farmers are having the bigger challenge to produce food for more people but sometimes they cannot get to that demand, they cannot get to that point where they can succeed because it's not the only challenge that we have more people but the temperatures are increasing and there is even more pollution so we have to have a solution not only to try and grow crops that are, we regularly do because slowly it's getting slower and slower to get that amount of food without using genetic, genetically modified organisms so one of the projects that I wanted to start and that I'm writing now is about researching about some other species, about some other plant that can help with the food growth, maybe to get that nutritional value that people need, uh, to get that supplement that can, be, that can be of great help to some person. So one of the projects that I'm currently writing on, or should I say my thesis, is the in silico determination of the nutritional value of green algae. We already know algae have been existing for many, many, many years. But are we using them properly? Do we know enough about algae? So one of my ideas was to try and using today's science and technology to try and determine what is their nutritional value. What are actually the proteins that can be found within them that can help us all, where we can have a big benefit in the food production? It doesn't have to be only growing algae. It can be extracting what is inside of algae and trying to manipulate that into further food production. So it can be of great benefit to know how to analyze a specific herb and extract the goodness in them and trying to implement that in some sort of food that we have today produced in the industry or maybe something that's regularly grown. So having a nutritional boost could not only help people get the nutritional value that they need, but it can help them as well grow food faster and try to lower the chance, chances of global hunger because we need something that is simple to use and something that can be of benefit to all of us.